Welcome to Rambam in Depth. Today we'll be discussing the Rambam Hilchas Mechira Peruch Abdalid Halacha Yud Gimel. The Rambam rules as follows: Someone tells his fellow, "I'm selling you land and date palms." And what happens? Even if there were no date palms on the land, if he wants and he purchases for him two date palms, not on the land, but from other places, then the sale is a valid sale. And the purchaser could not say to the seller, I'm not going to purchase it unless it's land that has date palms. In other words, you can't invalidate the sale because he didn't say, I'm giving you land with date palms on it. He said, I'm giving you land and date palms, so he could get the date palms from another source. The Sma, one of the poskim, the commentators on the Shulchan Aruch, infers from the Rambam that if, let's say, he would renege on the date palms, he doesn't give him any date palms, neither on the land or from another source, that would invalidate the sale, which tells us that if someone sells two items, and reneges on one of them, the purchaser could say, I don't want to buy it. And he could change his mind and invalidate the sale. That is the inference drawn by the Sma. Now this is a halacha that's also recorded in Shulchan Aruch, Chesha Mishpat, Simen Reish Tezayin, Sif Hei. But the Ramah brings a, a dissenting view. He brings the view of the Rashbam in Baba Basad of Samar Tesam Beis, who holds that the sale of the land and the date palms do not hinge on one another. That even if he reneges on the date palms, the land sale is intact, does not become null and void. So we have a dispute between the Rambam, who says that if you sell two things and you renege on one of them, entirely renege, then it invalidates the whole sale. And the Rajbam maintains that it doesn't. Each component of the sale stands on its own two feet. The Taz there in Chesha Mishpat brings an actual case of someone who sold two places in a shul to his fellow. He owned two seats in the shul, and he sold him, and he said, I'm selling you both of these seats. In the end, it turned out that there was only one seat for sale, only one seat that was available. He only owned one seat. So he says that this question, whether it invalidates the whole sale or not, hinges on the dispute between the Rambam and the Rajbam. According to the Rambam, the whole sale is null and void because he reneged on one part of the sale, one component of it. But according to the Rajbam, the sale is intact and he has to pay him for the one seat that he did have available to sell. But there are other Paskim who say that, no, we can dis- make a distinction between the case of the Rambam of the land and the t- two date palms, and the case of the Taz for the two places in the shul. And actually, there are two opposite approaches. And one say for Mishpat Sholem, he says that maybe what the Rambam rules, that it invalidates if he doesn't maintain his the whole sale, that's when you're dealing with two things that are connected to each other, like land and date palms, which grow on, the, on land. So it could be that the person who's buying it wants one only for the other. He wants the land for the date palms. So that's why we look at it as one business venture. And if he doesn't get the date palms, then he doesn't need the land. And therefore he can invalidate the sale. But when you're talking about two separate things, two seats in a shul, the seats are not interwoven, interconnected. They're two separate seats. So it could be that the Rambam would agree that the sale is valid even if he reneges on one of the seats. That's one approach. The Nesivas, in Simakuf Pei Beis, has the opposite approach. He says that the dispute between the Rambam and the Rajbam is only when you're talking about two separate things, like land and trees. They're two separate entities. True, they're connected, but they're two separate entities. But when you're dealing with two things that are the same category, two seats in a shul, two seats, are, they're both seats. They're considered like two parts of one sale. And if one part of the sale is invalidated, is, is reneged upon, is canceled, then it cancels the whole thing because it's an organic sale because two things are, are identical. Whereas when you sell land and date palms, 
land and day palms, even though one is connected to the other, they're two separate entities. One is land and one is date palms. And therefore, even if the date palms are invalid, the sale is invalidated, it doesn't invalidate the sale of the land, and the seller could demand that he keep the sale and not renege on it.